Hey everybody, today's video we're going to be talking about the 16 Jedi teachings. The 16 Jedi teachings are really the 33 Jedi teachings, though they did start out at 16. To go back and understand the 16 teachings, we have to go back to 2002. This comes at the fall and close of a website and organization called Jediism.org. We won't in get into that history, that's a whole other ordeal. However, we will say that two members there were displeased with the leadership and the direction of the site, and since it was closing anyways, decided to open a new website. They originally called it the Jedi Fellowship. They quickly renamed it to its much more known name, Jedi Sanctuary. The creators were Jedi Kiddodin and Lady Seven. Jedi Kiddodin was a sharp critic of Jediism.org, especially their 21 maxims of Jediism. He didn't like the foundation, or rather the inspiration, from where those came from and wanted a piece, or teachings rather, that were based upon Star Wars inspiration. So he set out to do exactly that. And he pulled out the material, the movies, the books that he had on Star Wars and started jotting down teachings that he felt was relevant to the Jedi lifestyle. In 2002, in July, this was around 16 teachings. By 2004, this grew to 18 teachings, and by 2008, the 33 teachings where it stands today. Now, Jedi Sanctuary has since closed its doors, however, they still do have a Facebook page up, so if you want to check out the 33 teachings in their current format, you can certainly look for Jedi Sanctuary on Facebook. Also at Jedi Living, through our Academy program, you can explore the 33 teachings and a bit of the history as part of our program. You might also find the 33 teachings on about.com's Jedi is section and of course if you've been to any recent Jediism site they most likely have some version of the teachings up usually the 16 Jedi teachings because that was the original format they were released in now I'm not going to go point by point on each 33 teachings of the Jedi that I leave for you the question is whether or not you find it valuable material like this written by Jedi for Jedi always must be taken with a grain of salt. While our path does have that core, that no matter what ism or website or organization you go to, there's the core of Jedi that retains, each teaching must be looked at with the APBP test. Now, if you're a student at Jedi Living, you've done this ad nauseum, so you already know what I'm talking about. For those of you who are not, what you wanna do is look at these kind of things and ask, is this applicable? Is this practical? Is this beneficial? Is this positive? Mainly you want to determine whether or not it speaks to you and helps you grow as a Jedi in your everyday life. Can you apply this to your lifestyle? Is it practical to be applying to your life? Is it something that is beneficial to you and your life as a Jedi? Is this something that's going to have a positive impact not only on you and your path, but on those around you, on your life, on your world? Ask these questions as you go through the 33 teachings. Ask these questions as you watch Star Wars. Do the Yoda quotes hold up? Do the Obi-Wan quotes hold up? Do the Qui-Gon quotes hold up? This is the process that we use when we are going through our fictional inspiration. What do we take? What don't we take? Well, we look at it. We break it down. Does it fit the core of the path? If so, does it pass our APBP test? There are many different materials out there and many different summaries of the Jedi path, if you will. You have the Jedi Circle. You have the 33 Jedi teachings. You have the 21 maxims of Jediism. You have the Jedi Compass. You have many different texts out there which are Jedi thought. People coming together to try to distill the path in an easy to remember way. Something that's easy to follow and to understand. Yet that doesn't mean we always get it right. That is why things like the 16 teachings become the 33 teachings. Or why the Jedi Circle gets rewritten three or four different times. Because our path is evolving and we are still young and we are still growing through our experience and through the experience of other Jedi both before and after us. So the main thing when it comes to the 16 teachings is to simply look at it objectively. Look at it with a Jedi mindset. Be a Jedi. Do these things hold up to your ideal of the path? Do these things help you live your everyday life as a Jedi? If the answer is yes, 
then use it, run with it, and enjoy it. If the answer is no, then discard it and go with what works, what actually helps you grow as a Jedi. Thank you for watching. You know where the buttons are. You can like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe, whatever. You can find links to the 33 Jedi teachings in the description below. May the Force be with you.